Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars, and I've got a first generation 1955 Chevrolet five window short bed pickup truck. And this one's been uh, kind of uh, hot rotted, shop truck, rat rotted out, kind of however you like to call it. I always kind of still try to figure out what everybody likes to call them, but it's got a fuel injected V8, automatic transmission, power steering, power disc brakes with the Nova clip in the front, independent front suspension. So let's take it for a drive. sound when you romp on it but uh cruising just cruising it's not loud in the cab which is really nice I, I i prefer something that everybody outside hears but not everybody inside hears they started doing construction down here where i do my videos usually so i'm gonna turn around and go back just a little bit Great patina on this truck, just been, you know, sanded down the original green, sanded down to bare metal. Nice smooth running 350 V8 with fuel injection. Inner fender wells and firewalls, nice and rust free. Aluminum radiator. I'll rev up the engine a little bit so we can hear the exhaust and then I'll turn it off and do the rest of the video. I mean, just great sound. This is like a, like I said, you know, you could tell. And now, of course, to be fair, I was not cruising any more than about 45. So if you were really hauling, hauling down the freeway, you might uh, notice a difference, but I want to say the donor on this one was a 1985 uh, Silverado, um, somewhere around there. And I can find out for sure if need be on the engine. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's nice to jump in, touch the key. You don't even have to tap the pedal when it's got fuel injection, five window. And you know, this is the last of the last of the uh, first series 3100s. And before they went to, uh, you know, that that second year uh, or halfway through the year went through the to what we call the tri fives 55 6 and 7 both in the cars and trucks so just a great patina as i walk around the truck headlights tail lights brake lights all work does not have turn signals the bed it's just got some diamond plate and uh spray and bed liner it's very presentable and of course you know this is the this is the look <clears throat> now that being said i actually taking a closer look and just kind of going slow with with the camera real quick all the way around for you i want you to notice that actually the body is pretty straight on this thing so if you were looking to do a, not a finer restoration i think you could really do it with this truck if you want to sand this truck down to bare metal you're not going to find a bunch of bondo in it um, in fact i actually i almost bought this truck when it still had the original engine in it and i didn't actually i didn't scoop on it fast enough i didn't tell the guy yes uh, before he had uh, gone and clipped it and put the V8 in, but I still bought it. And part of the reason was because it was really a low miles um, original truck. 
and uh, I like finding them like that too you know with it being original I've got plenty of customers that are looking for that as well so just as I'm doing this I know I'm talking a lot but the, the point of me doing this is just be paying nice close attention I mean look these are the original cab corners this is you know the original green truck that's been sanded down and patinaed you know and there's some spots of primer on it and stuff like that but it's got a really straight body and I genuinely think that you could make a nice, uh, really nice restoration out of this truck if you wanted to. Now, that being said, this truck doesn't need anything to be enjoyed just like it is. This is still the original seat, and I never see that. I left it. I know it's torn and stuff, but if you got real creative, you might be able to stretch it back out. It's not expensive to do. I left it because I said, I've gotten to where, well, especially right now during COVID-19, everybody's just asking me, please get your inventory up as fast as possible. And so we're not doing as much projecting on stuff and uh, kind of just letting the next person do what they want so that way i'm not you know i'm not putting a brown seat in it and you say darn i you know i wish i had a red seat um so and then of course the price um you know i don't have to charge as much when we're not doing as much to the to the vehicles so anyways glass is in good shape windows are a little stiff they do roll up and down and about right there, it binds just a hair. It's got a crack in the glass right here on this side. But they do roll up and down. And I think just a little bit of grease. Actually, that was that went better than I expected. Let's say the passenger side. I think did kind of the same thing. Watch me roll it. So it's a little stiff, but it's going. And uh, the glass over here is all in good shape. Glass, I think the only glass that's got a crack in it's that driver's side window. So, oh, well, here, I just discovered one right there. That's got a, clack, a little crack there. So, now usually I, uh, I say what I'm about to say, which is if it was mine, this is what I would do to it. And uh, everybody likes, you know, ask, ask me to do that in the video, say, well, what would you do to it if it was yours? Um, it, I think it needs two new front tires. They look like they've got good tread on them, but they, you can see that there's some sidewall rot on them. So I'd put two new tires on it. I'd probably put a stereo system in it, recover the seat, put some original carpet in it, and drive it just like it is. So I just named off what, two, three, four, five, six hundred bucks worth of stuff. New two new tires in the front. The tires in the rear look great. They have good tread and they don't look, appear to be weather rotten at all. Um, you know, maybe even just getting the match. I don't know, maybe put all four tires on it actually. I just noticed this one's got a few cracks on the side. So yeah original carpet original seat cut style seat cover put a radio in the glove box and some hide some speakers in it so it looks original inside and uh, just drive this sucker <laughs> that's what i would do There's, it doesn't need anything to be enjoyed so even down here look at the bottom the weep holes and we just washed it so there's a little water on there but i mean this is the original cab corners this is mind-blowing that they're that they're in such good shape get up underneath here battery box has been cut a little bit not a big deal and it's in the original position which i like there's crusties all along the bottom but there's no major rust and um, this is a clean i mean look at how solid this thing is this is a you know in a lot of ways this is a rust-free truck i don't like saying rust-free you know obviously with it being a patina like this is but it's a very, very clean, solid build. Go over to this side. My battery light's blinking at me. And I'm trying not to go over 10 minutes for you guys too. I mean, step sides, look at these step sides. I mean, surface rust, but that's it. I mean, there's a spot of rust right there in the cab corner, on the interior cab corner. And even look down the doors on this side and the cab corner. That's original. I mean, it's just phenomenal. I love it. Just really impresses me to see a truck that's this, you know, originally clean, we'll say. Obviously, it's not been frame off, blasted, and poor 15 or anything. But, man, what a great truck. And a five window, too. I mean, great history on these things. You just can't beat it. And just as a bonus, this... Uh, this this eagle flying eagle um hood ornament man just you know i love trucks like this this is the kind of truck that the nice thing too with the upgraded uh, drivetrain is 
you know this is a truck you can drive on the freeway if you want you can you could drive this thing for hours you could go 80 miles an hour keep up with normal traffic and uh, they just ride so smooth so give us a call peachtreeclassiccars.com